All right, in today's video, there's not gonna be any flashy intro of me doing some cool cardistry moves or doing a flashy magic trick with some cheesy music on it in the background or me having an alternative person uh, and I'm doing magic tricks with them because in today's video, the video that I'm filming right now is a real serious uh, subject and a subject that a lot of people are either too scared or don't want to talk about. And this doesn't just apply to magic, it applies to er the everyday world um, and most professions, and that is um, women in the workplace, women in, um, in magic. Um, this is what this video is gonna mainly be about, but it does apply, like I said, to a lot of other things. So, without any further ado, here's the video. Did you know that in most workplaces, um, less than 50% um, of the workplace is actually uh, female. You know, uh, it used to be a lot worse, don't get me wrong, we are as a society getting a lot better at that, but still, um, it's still less than 50% of, uh, of, of the workplace is, uh, is of women. And that is of most workplaces. I don't know how many more times I can say that, um, but it is um, it's scary when you think about it. When you know you put into context that you know ideally in the world there is a fifty to fifty percent ratio of men and women. It's how the world survives. It's how us as humans survive. Um, and yet in the workplace, there's not that many females. You know, it's not fifty percent. It's 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 a lot it's a lot less and the worst or at least one one of the worst um, at least one of the worst industries that has a 50 50 ratio or doesn't have 50 50 ratio to men and women is uh, the film industry you know how many how many films do you watch and it says directed by a man most of them, right? Uh, and this, or, or the, the problem is when it come when it has a woman directing it, they make such a big thing out of it. And don't get me wrong, it should be a huge thing that a woman directs, like the biggest action film ever, for instance, like Wonder Woman and stuff like that. Um, but for some reason, like it shouldn't be a big thing in a way because you know it should be expected that there's a 50 to 50 like ratio of of um, men directing films and women directing films if not you know if not women a little bit more perhaps i don't know um i've been i've been reading up on a lot of um you know feminist things recently and um you know it's something i'm very interested in and you know being a guy um, I might be speaking out of term here and I might be speaking, you know, I my intentions for this video is not anything derogatory at all. It is all, I'm trying to make, just make awareness of the fact that women don't get the right attention that is needed considering that we try so hard or we pretend to try so hard. Um, so yeah, I was reading a lot about you know feminist stuff in the entertainment industry, and I came across um, the Bachdoll test. I've got it written down here. The Bachdoll test um, in film. That test is basically: um, is there at least two named women in the movie? Um, do these two women have a conversation between them two? And is this conversation nothing to do about a man? And if it, it ticks all those three boxes, then perfect. Um, it passes the backdoor test. And you think, you think that's such an easy thing to do, right? Just get two, two named female characters, put them in a movie, get them to have a conversation not about a man. But surprisingly, and I've got some of them written down here, um, surprisingly, a lot of the films don't have that. For instance, the whole of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and I think one of the Hobbit movies, um, they don't pass the Bachdoll test at all. Um, considering, I think there's about 
I think there's like seven named female characters, which isn't a lot, don't get me wrong, it isn't a lot, but none of them at all actually share a scene together, let alone talk about something that is not about a man. So that doesn't pass the backdoor test at all. Another one, you know, as much as we like our Disney films and they're all aged for the kids, is, is the Toy Story films, one and two. Um, don't pass the backdoor test. I think three and four do though. Another one is Ratatouille. Uh, I think there is actually only one female character apart from the rats, like mum or something like that. But again, she doesn't have a conversation with another female rat and they don't talk about anything but the, um, the amount. Um, another one is Avatar. Um, there is multiple uh, female characters in it but they never talk about anything apart from the main character. Uh, another one which breaks my heart to think about is the, uh, the Avengers movie. Yes, there is uh, over two named uh, female characters, but again, they never actually share a scene together, let alone have a conversation. A um, couple of the Star Wars movies, I believe the um, original three movies don't do it. And I think one of the new ones as well, the prequels, I'm not too sure about. And um, and that's about it. There is lo loads of other ones. If you want to find out more, check out the Backdoll Test. Um, but it's really surprising. You think that, like I've said before, it's really easy just to get simple two girl characters into a film to have a conversation about literally anything apart from a man, right? Um, but for some reason, that... That, that's impossible and we can't do that and um, for me you know I studied film um, I love watching films and I, like for instance like I said I absolutely love the Avengers movies knowing that it's really scary and since watching other movies and even TV shows you know they do it for TV shows this test um, you know watching watching TV shows watching movies I'm in the back of my mind thinking do they do this or do they not do this and Ashamed, like I'm ashamed to realise that a lot of the things that I watch don't pass the backdoor test either. And then when I Google it, I'm right. But on a lighter note, magic is actually one of the better professions with a 50 to 50% ratio with men and women. Um, it's it's not quite a 50-50%. I won't get into the whole magic circle thing. Um, you know, I've, uh, that's for a separate video. <laughs> um, the Magic Circle for years and years and years didn't let any female magicians into it. And that just, that turns me off of it straight away. Um, yeah, I won't get into the history with me and, and the Magic Circle and stuff anyway, but um, You know, the Magic Circle now lets, now now allows females to, <laughs> females, they allow women into uh, the Magic Circle. Um, but the fact that they didn't do it for so long, it, it really grinds my gears. Um, I don't get why, like, again, I won't name names, but in the Magic Circle, there are some really bad magicians and then there's, uh, who are in the magic circle, and then there are some really, really good women who do magic. I hate, you know, women magicians, female magicians. There are some women who do magic who are really good that weren't allowed to be in the magic circle, and, you know, oh, that is just, it's mind boggling, it really is, and I absolutely hate it. But women don't get into magic for the same reasons as men do. And this is getting a bit more into psychology now. Um, I'm not like this with how I got into magic, but I know a lot of men who got into magic, um, got into magic for control and to be sociable, you know, to feel accepted into the world. You know, maybe they're a little bit different and, you know, do, do it and doing, doing magic gave them a little, a little bit of an edge, you know, they. They felt in control of the situation. They felt better than the people bullying them, for example. Whereas, don't get me wrong, I'm saying this as most women. 
Uh, most women don't get into magic for those reasons because a lot of women don't need that control. They don't feel the need, the urge for the control to be social. Um, so, and, I, and I'm saying like, again, I don't, I don't want to step out of place here. I'm saying most women. I'm not, you know, categorizing every single woman in the world because I know everybody's different. And I might complete, be completely wrong. So um, if I'm completely wrong, please just let me know. Um, if you're a, a woman who does magic, um, reach out to me because I would, just, you know, I want to know why you got into magic, how you got into magic, and uh, why you still do magic now, or maybe why you left magic. Um, at the moment, I'm consulting and um, training a, a a a woman who's the same age as me. I think she's a little bit younger, a couple of years younger than me, and um, she. She has the potential to be the next big thing, and I genuinely mean this. I don't know why she's a uh, she came to me for help, um, but she is the next big thing. She's so good, and she's only been doing it for less than a year, right? And um, so many and so many times she tells me that she like, does gigs and she goes, "Oh, I do magic," and people automatically assume that she's an assistant, right? And I know from other Women who do magic, I know that they, or who used to do magic, they stopped doing it because they got bored or the fact they got, like, people assumed that they were assistants. And you know, you watch m magic films, you watch magic TV shows, and the women are usually said to be the assistant, which is not right anymore, you know. You know, from, from the very early times when I started doing magic, I always thought, you know, I was always one step ahead watching magic shows anyway, but I used to always be like, um, I used to watch and I used to realize that the magic assistant was actually the person doing most of the magic and the magician was just flaring his hands around, looking good, while the actual woman assistant was doing most of the work. And this is what I try and tell her, I'm not gonna name her name or anything like that, um, but this is what I try and tell the person I'm, I'm coaching is um, the fact that she, you know, she has the potential to be better than any other guy in the world. And, you know, and it was proven, you know, um, it was proven because she started posting videos on Instagram and YouTube. Um, and within the first, you know, I've been doing magic for two years, right? I've been publicly making videos for two years now. But in the first two weeks of her posting videos, she overtook me and I hate to blow my own trumpet, it's not because she's better than me in no way, because that's why I'm teaching her. There's no way she's better than me, but it's because she's a woman. Men just want to see, you know, a good looking young girl doing things with her fingers. <laughs> um, the best way to put it anyway. They just want to see that, and that's why it's, it's, it's wrong. You know, it's like, don't get me wrong, I'm pleased she's getting the recognition. And I'm not jealous at all. I'm actually really pleased for her. I'm proud of her for for, for doing that. And she, you know, she's continually to grow. But you know, I know, and I've seen not just in magic, but other people starting out, you know, social careers, and in in, in in on social media. If you're if you're a woman, for some reason, your audience grows from zero to a hundred far far quicker than any man. And you know, a lot of people would go, oh, that's great, that's great, the fact that women are um, getting so much better, but, or like getting more recognition, but it's for the wrong reasons, you know. <laughs> you know, men want to see women on the internet, is the best way to put it. I'm not going to go into that kind of detail, but and that is the reason why. I spoke a little earlier about knowing a lot of women who used to do magic quitting because people automatically assumed that they were assistants. But that isn't one of the only reasons why they ended up quitting it. Another one is that a lot of magic tutorials on YouTube, the ones that you buy on these magic companies, and even magic books, they automatically assume that you are a man watching them. And I've noticed this, you know, it got brought up in a conversation that I had recently, and then I started watching magic videos like I usually do, so I watch magic tutorials, reading my magic books like I usually do, and they were right, they weren't wrong, you know, um, they automatically assume that you're a man, 
And for some women, they can't do the tricks that are set out in the book. For example, you know, if I want to make this card disappear, you know, I'm doing a card, a card thing like this, right? I'm, I'm, I'm palming in it here, right? But then if I want to go like this, I've made it now disappear, right? In the long run, all I've done is just I've put it in my pocket whilst I was doing misdirection. Now, a lot of women don't have a pocket, so where are they going to dump the cards if they haven't got a pocket? If they were in a skirt, what can they do? And I know that a lot of um, a lot a lot of women have designs, or you can buy products out there that help with that to put on your skirts and put on some whatever you wear. I don't know. I don't wear dresses that much. Um, but I say that much but do, do you understand where I'm coming from you know in magic books they say you know you, you, you palm the card you palm the card here to show them and then you palm the fake palm the card and you've gamblers cocked it here and you're just putting it in your back pocket right while, while, you're, while you're showing it and then you make it disappear and you've just put it in your back pocket but that's what the tutorial says but what if you don't have a back pocket Right, what are you supposed to do? Load it back into the deck for everyone to see? No. So, you know, I apologize. You know, I do magic tricks and magic tutorials. Um, so I, I don't think I have, but I do apologize if I've ever brought out a tutorial that hasn't helped any women in magic. You know, I try my best not to, but you know, I, I, I learn what I learn and I teach what I teach. And uh, this is me making a formal apology, saying if I've ever taught anything that uh, uh, I've excluded women from being able to do, I do sincerely apologise for it. If you want to learn more information about women in magic or just women in general um, in professions and things like that, the I, I would highly recommend listening to the Shazam podcast. It's on Spotify. I think there's about 80 episodes altogether. In the last two weeks, I started from episode one, and I think I'm about 50 at the moment. It's very, very interesting and entertaining to listen to, um, and they give you so much information. You know, I've always wanted to make a video like this anyway, um, talking about women in magic and women in professions. Um, but from listening to those couple of um, episodes on the podcasts, uh, it's inspired me and it's made me want to make an, uh, the video even more, if not have more information, you know, I learned about the backdoor test from the podcast and loads of other facts and feminist facts and it's made me appreciate something. Now I've always had uh, a hand in the feminist community but now I fully feel like just by listening to that and doing my own research I feel like I'm fully immersed into it now. And um, I know a lot of friends that are fully into it as well. And um, I've I've always backed them, but now I'm, you know, I've I've I'm I'm backing them even more. So if I, if I even if I can do that, you know, I'm I'm fully into it now. And I don't think I should be the only person like this. Um, so do your research. Learn about what it is to be uh, a woman in magic, a woman in society. And, you know, there, there, there's, there's the hashtag part of the problem. Don't be part of the problem. Join this community of being a woman in today's world, in today's society. You know, we are getting better, but we're not quite there yet. And um, if I've reached out to people from this video, welcome. Um, I'm not going to plug any of my socials. I'm not going to plug, um, technically, me saying I'm going to plug my socials or plug um, the CTISS is me plugging it. But, you know, it, this video is not for that. This video is to make awareness of the subjects that this whole video is about. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it and um, see you in the next video.